Hello Pokemon Masters, my name is Birdkeeper Toby, thank you for clicking on my video, and uh, yeah, a little something special for today. You wanna go ahead and introduce, you? Tell, tell the lovely people of the internet who you are, if you can't guess. Hello, I am Phoebe, or The Last Shaman, and I am on Twitter and Instagram, obviously, please follow me. That's not the only reason I'm here. <laughs> that seems like the only reason you're here is literally to plug your, your socials. Obviously, Phoebe's, Phoebe is my girlfriend. We date, we do the dating thing, and uh, I'm. This is. Woo, this is really awkward. Yeah. You know, I've done a video this with. Is a first. Doing our collaboration. It's Christmas. Well, it's Christmas for us where we are back in the past. You are watching this in the wonderful year of 2000. And 20. Is How is it in the nice? future? Is it good? As you know, over a few of the videos last year, I have been sponsored by the Pokemon Company, a Pokemon trading card game. This video is no different. This video wouldn't happen without them. And this is actually the main video that I wanted to do with them. And that is the Boyfriend versus Girlfriend Booster Box Battle. So they have sent us out a, a set of Cosmic Eclipse each, a booster box. A booster box, by the way, is like this is what they send to the shop that you then buy your, your booster packs out of. So we're going to open these up and we're going to answer some questions that we've asked on Twitter. And we are going to see who can get the most points. Yeah. Uh, would you like to explain the points? Sure. I've got, um, so I've written this down so you don't even know this yet. No, it's basically any card that I get out of the pack is worth a point. Yep. Any card you get out of the pack is worthless. Um, Great. Brilliant. That said, that's just because it's my channel. Oh. That's fair. Oh, here they are, the real rules. Uh, a hollow, a hollow Pokemon card equals one point, and I'm hoping my lovely editor is going to help keep track. I'll also be keeping track with, you know, a physical pen. In Cosmic Eclipse, which is of course this set, there are these character arts, you know, they're, they're kind of like a full art, you know, Pokemon card, but with characters on them from the, from the show and from the games. We get two points if we get one of those. A GX, whether it's a tag team or whatever, is uh, three points. A full art is four points, and a secret rare, five points. But there is a chase card, and it's a card I'm personally after. The Arceus Dialga and Palkia alternative art, that's worth 10 points if we can get it, because that's, that's the card that I want the most, and like I'm very excited for. While we do it, we're, we're gonna kind of focus more on the questions. So do you wanna go ahead, Phoebes, and just grab something? What, card or a question? Uh, a get a question and we'll just start opening packs. It's like, it's like it's in the actual shop. First question asked by Mary Lopunny. What is your favorite thing about each other? <laughs> My favorite thing about you, I particularly like that you are very non-judgmental. Really? That's, that's one of the things that I've always liked about you. Cause you know, I've obviously we met and, and I was like, you know, I do Pokemon stuff on YouTube, which admittedly is very, very cool. But you've always been very non-judgmental, and I've always appreciated that. Um, go, what, what's your favourite thing? And you can let me know in the comments, what's your favourite thing about me? What, what's your favourite thing about me? When you announced that we were going out, I got a whole bunch of followers on my social Ah, so yeah. That was very nice. Okay, but that makes sense. That, you're such a good human. Thank you. You're like the bestest bean. Ah, stop your blabbering. <laughs> So this is, it, it's nothing super exciting. It's just a tag team, uh, it's, a ta it's a tag team trainer. The idea is that we're gonna, what did you get? <laughs> we're not gonna show you the opening of the whole pack. We're just gonna show you like relevant stuff. Keep on with your blabbering. What'd you get, what'd you get, what'd you get, what'd you get? You didn't, you didn't, you didn't. Okay, that's actually quite cute. I like him. Red and Pikachu, okay. Which is Pikachu, so that's a character full, that's a character art, so that's two points, so I'm gonna put that for you. We did a Christmas presents today, and uh, can you guess what was in Phoebe's Christmas presents? I'll give you the hint. Make a guess. Pokemon cards. I'm just trying to slow you down, not those. <gasps> okay, I got, I'm catching up, because I got Lieutenant Surge of Magnemite, and you got one of you got a character art as well. Oh, these ca <laughs> these character arts are very cool. So another two points for you, and my first two points. Thank you, Mary the Lop Honey. You're very wonderful. Thank you very much. Appreciate you very much. Um, what is the hardest or most stressful part about content creation, such as making YouTube videos, which was asked by Rebellious Tree? Uh, the hardest thing. I don't know. There's a lot of. I mean, this is this is stressful. Just I think this. I think honestly, the the hardest thing is once you've made one thing that's really good. Because I made a couple of videos a few years ago that I'm really really proud of. Mm. Is then if every video following that isn't as good, you can feel very not down, but I can feel very deflated about like the videos not being as good. And what about you? Do you do your art? What's like the hardest thing about you know I when mean, you're creating? I don't have artwork? proper editing software. Yeah, I mean that would be difficult. That would. <laughs> I mean, talking about specifically the occasional YouTube foray, but like. Uh -huh. 
I've, I'm trying to edit um, all of my stuff in just Adobe Photoshop, and it's not built for it, not even a little bit. No, and your, your laptop is not particularly... Oh, and because I'm currently away from where I live, which is not uh, with my parents, which is where I am right now, uh, I have to use my mom's laptop, which is not good. What have you done? Oh, that is Arceus Dialga and Palkia, but oh. not, not the alternative op I'm looking for, not the big boy that's worth 10 points, but five points okay. for a secret rare GX for me. A further two points for the character oh, card. How, how much is the Valplume worth? Also, I got a... Uh, Valplume's worth three points. I've got a reverse hollow. That, we're not doing anything for those. But it's cool. But it is very cool. Gabby Duncan is asking, if we get the Sinnoh remakes in the next year or two, do you want them to have wild areas and den mechanics, or do you want them to be a straight up remake? For example, the underground could be expanded to Pokemon and Dens. I, I want I, the underground back, but I feel like the Great Marsh. I, yeah, we, so yeah. we talked about this. I think the, the Great Marsh would be a really good wild area. The snowy area, north of Snow Point. But that said, the Sinnoh underground, when you look at like an image of it, like here's an image, um, there's, uh, it's very top down, it's very built for the DS, and I do wonder if it needs to be transformed mm. to mm, sit on the Switch okay. How'd you do? How'd you do? How'd Would you, do? you like to. Do you need any Charizard breaks and cards? I and don't. No well, uh, I mean, I, I could always go for more, but very nice. Tag Team GX, that is three points for you. One, two, and three. You're currently winning, you're a point ahead. Ha <laughs> um, ha! Well done. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Do you have, have you had any other thoughts about, about that? Uh, well, specifically. Gen 4 yeah, I mean, do you think they could? Or do you even think they could bring the the Sinnoh Underground into onto the Nintendo Switch? Because it's such a top I, down mechanic where you can see. I mean, they could still keep the whole top down aspect and make it more of like a mini game, I mm -hmm. guess. Or they could like fully redo it in 3D, and then the bases would probably be a lot more interesting. Yeah, I guess so. I guess they so. went into that a bit more. Sorry, the card camera just likes to drift a lot. It likes me. It likes you very much. Um. Ooh, red and blue. No, it's not a big card, but it's, it's needed. My red card's better than yours. Yeah! Uh, okay, next question. Oh, this one. So we got this one by uh, Rich Boy Randy. Rich Boy Randy asks, uh, what are your guys' favorite Pokemon theories? Theories. Thank you, Rich Boy That's Randy. That's a lot of Pokemon theories. You, ca you can't just. Was it by Berkey and Potobi? It, it was, in fact, by Berkey Oh, was it? On Wait. YouTube. Oh, it was. Yeah, I haven't thought of it yet, but. Oh, okay, but you'll you'll let me know when you when you get there. Uh, <laughs> favorite Pokemon theory. Darn. Darn. There's a lot. It's not my favorite one. It's just one that's springing to mind right now. Is I really like the one that Nido Queen because in the games Nido Queen and Nidorina can't breed. They don't have egg groups, which is really weird. And I kind of like the idea that it's to do with uh, the fact that they are failed early clones of of Nido King. And it's part of like the whole Team Rocket thing, and that's why there's weird baby Nida Queens on in the Mewtwo Strike Back movie. I did a whole video on it ages ago. I liked that one. I also do like the idea that you know, like po Voltorb has happened as the result of Rotom taking over Pokeballs and then not being able to escape, and that's why Voltorb started appearing at Pokeball factories. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I like the standard ones that just everyone knows. I don't know, like all the all the that's coming to mind right now is the whole like Ente Suicune. Okay. We've got a silver Legiax! Okay. Like this one, sorry, the, oh, the, the legendary beast is a... My one's cooler than that. Yeah, yeah, than that. My other one's cooler than that, so... <laughs> I'm now two points ahead, hon. Let's... It's alright. Catch up! It's catch up! This pack is gonna be... Oh uh, yeah? Is this gonna be the one? No. <laughs> Hang on, it's a hollow though, isn't it? Oh yeah, no, that's a hollow. Hey, it's a hollow, that's a point. There's one for you specifically, so that I can get to opening things. It's not important, um, but I got a reverse Lily's Polka Doll, and I think Lily's Polka Doll was very cool. That's Sorry, do go on. Yes. Uh, you specifically, what advice would you give to small poker who want to stream but can't find the motivation for it? Um, streaming is particularly hard. See, this is a difficult one because I don't stream very successfully myself either. Yeah, I'm very catchy. on and off about it. <laughs> and, and, and the truth of the matter is, is, streaming is hard. Like to anyone, to any Twitch streamer you see, you think, oh, they're just playing video games, it's chill. It's not. It's difficult keeping up that level of energy. You know, when I play video games, it's very often that's my way of relaxing. I don't want to communicate and talk and perform to people. It is hard. Finding motivation is, you know, I think you've just got to want to do it. I know that's not good advice, but if you're not, if you're struggling to find a motivation, 
situation, maybe play a different game, change the way that you're streaming the game, or just don't stream it. Because you can't be a streamer if you don't enjoy streaming games. I guess it's just fundamentally at the core of it. I don't know what advice to get. You got something good, didn't you? I know this face. <laughs> what did you get? It's not like the Mecca, but it is a Rainbow Rare. Hey, Secret Rare, Venusaur and Snivy, that gets you an additional five That's points. It does get you the lead. It does get you the lead. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Looks like you're gonna have to do something about that. Well, uh, maybe. I feel like there's a question in there that I have seen by a few people that we should probably should answer because it's like a main one is like, how do we meet? I feel like is one that I've... See, why did your eyes go so wide then? Mm. The world of, of app dating is not mm. so terrifying, mm. is it? Mm. Ah! I would have to admit that we met on Tinder. Yeah, it's been on an app. By app, that wasn't like Pokemon Go. Uh, <laughs> was no, like, we met on. Uh, I got a hollow at one point, by the way. Me, got a hollow. A... Met on Pokemon and me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where my brain is. We, uh, we, yeah, we went out on Tinder, we started yeah. talking, um, and you quite early on directed me to your art, art profile, which has Shaman in the name. And I'm just there like, oh, okay. you like Pokemon, eh? Yeah, but I mean, it turns out that you knew uh, Duncan. You knew Duncan can't die. <laughs> Look, you got stone cold. Now, whenever we hang out with Duncan, I'm always like, Oi, Duncan, she's your biggest fan. And you just I obviously hate, hate me very much. <laughs> it's, it's the worst feeling. It's just the, the worst. The worst Can't feeling. take me anywhere. Come on, you need to hurry up with these packs. I'm not a professional Pokemon card opener. Neither am I. <laughs> Thank you, Pokemon, by the way, for trusting us to open up uh, these, these packs. Please trust us again. Uh, please, please yes. come back anytime. Uh, by the way, of course, if you're watching this, uh, this is the first time of us doing something like this. I love the idea, dear, of Girlfriend vs. Boyfriend Boost Box Battle. I think it's a lot of fun. Obviously, it means we get a bo booster box of each new set. So if this is something you would like to see again, please, the best thing you can do is leave a comment. Let the Pokemon company know. And also, you know, tweet it out. Share out this video. Not a hollow. Did you get a hollow? You got a hollow? It's a hollow like a roll. One point to Phoebe! I see that pack. I got, uh, I got an Oricorio. GX, which is cool. That's something I've been wanting to play around with book. in uh, in deck. So that's going to be another uh, one, two, three points. Do you feel that Gala has appropriately represented the UK along with its culture? Just asked by Hell Salem One. Yes, yes. Towns like Sirchester. Towns mm. like I mean, you you and I are both from kind of southern England towns, yeah. and like I, I don't know how you feel about like Hillbury. We, and we have been well represented. The, that starting area is like where we live, and it's way cool. Hillbury and the starting town with a name I cannot remember. A oh, Wedgehurst, Wedgehurst yeah. area. They look so much like the area we're from. Oh. It's kind of scary. You can literally walk outside and kind of go like 10 minutes down the road and like see the, all the, of that scenery. The starting house, they got the interior and exterior like absolutely perfect. Like, when, I start, perfect. when I played that game and then you can just see like the wellies piled by the door. Yeah, I just like stuff like, for example, Hop saying things like, um, mm -hmm. oh, that's pants, isn't it? You know, yeah. like. So, oh, mum watches up. the telly. Can you type your area? I've got this nice tidy pile, nah. and you've just got a mound of Pokemon cards. I'm so, like I said, I'm not professional. I, I, I really, a method for this. I really like Surchester. I think Surchester is a gorgeous like, town with yeah. gorgeous music. If uh, Ballon Lee didn't exist, that would probably be my favorite one. Ball, but how do you say it? Ba Ballon Lee? Ballon Lee. Ballon, I can't Ballon say it right. Ballon Lee. I don't know. It doesn't look anything like Ballon Lee. I wouldn't know. I never watched. Um, really? But actually, I do know. Right, I just opened a pack. Did I get anything? I did. I got. Oh, okay. I did get a hollow, which is great. And I do need this hollow. But I also got a great catcher. And great catcher is great. It's a great catcher, and I love it. And I'm going to use it in my decks that I'm playing on the trading card game online. And that puts me one point ahead. That said, I'm also like three packs ahead. So you're you're technically. My my uh good pack to bad pack ratios. Okay, so our good friend Marty Bennett, virtually Marty, uh, who's been a big part of helping me get into the trading card game this year, has asked me, um, what would an Appleton yeah. or a Flapple look like if it was a Ditto? Because you know Ditto has the, obviously the, you know, the power face, the, the power face, right? It's just really creepy, isn't it? Because, <laughs> um, like, obviously Flapple's eyes go above the apple. So would it be an apple with a little face on it? Oh, that would be so cute like, if you oh, put like the face in the wrong place and it was just uh -huh. like a little hat. I don't know if we can do a photoshop for that, but that would be I, cool. I will do a photoshop for you. <laughs> you gonna do it not? Whoa! Not whoa! 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 Oh! Okay. Oh! 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 
And a great catcher. Another great catcher for a great pack with Sil Valley GX. It's a boss and I love it. Wow, my name's Toby. And I, yeah, I get you guys at first, you're very Jackson. <laughs> I'm Phoebe and I can, yeah, I'm not good at Pokemon cards. Okay, okay, okay. Power through, power through. I got another tag call. Cool. And Chaotic Swell. I need Chaotic I'm Swells. Alright. We are, I'm currently in the lead by five points, actually. I know you are, and I don't But know. you're, I'm also, again, packed ahead, and, and five points can be changed in a single card. Let's go, 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 right, go, focus you. on it. Oh, baby! No, you <laughs> haven't. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. Oh, no, I got oh, this. okay. This is a five-pointer, and it's a card that I'm using a lot right now when playing on TCGO. It's Tag Call, which is a very, very good card. I'm going to have to sleeve that up very soon. Uh, what does tag call do? Um, it allows you to search out two tag team cards from your deck. So oh, either a yeah, tag team Pokemon or tag team trainer. Either way, I'm adding another five points. One, two, three, four, and five. Uh, okay. All right. What's that? Here. I haven't had a good pack go. in about seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, no, no. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I've it's had just a... that you chose which box. I didn't give. choose which you box. Did. I uh, did not choose which you box. You put this box in front of me you, you knew. I didn't know. It had hollows in it. You got a hollow, and I got two points for my Pikachu with red. Favorite shinies uh, from Alex the Bush Boy. Like a specific game or just in general? In general, I guess. Shinies. I think Noctowl for me, like Noctowl, I mentioned it in a video recently, is, it's been a really big part of my Cause, cause that year. Because that one shiny has me Yeah, and, and but it, you know, that's my favorite because of the animated series and because of, uh, there's a card, a shiny Noctowl card, which I really like. Mm. Noctowl for me, what about you? I mean, historically, like it's not my favorite shiny, but I really love shiny Staraptor. That makes sense. Do you want to tell people why? So on my, f well, a couple of times I had played Pokemon Diamond, just a couple gins in, and then eventually I reset it while I was on holiday. And okay, keep going with your story. I want to hear your story. On the first route, I'm just wandering around, and then this uh, little Starly pops up on screen, and what? I was just checking points with you. Yeah, one. Okay, okay, keep going. Okay, the Starly <coughs> pops up on the, on the screen. And it was brown, and I was like, wait, that's not meant to be like that. And then it sparkled, and it took me a solid five seconds to realize what that meant. Encountered the shiny Pokemon. It's a good thing you didn't like uh, like kill it like a lot of people do when they don't know they're yeah, encountering I mean, shinies. I, this was just after I first discovered what shinies were, and I've been watching like chain videos of people reacting to them on YouTube. So you like you knew. I knew. Oh yeah, go on. But it took me a good few seconds to realize what would happen. And I played my whole game through with said Starly, nice. and bolt her into a Staraptor. She was adamant. She had Intimidate, she was so good. And then I lost the cartridge. I don't know where it is, but Genuinely. somewhere in the world. That's quite devastating. It's a two-pointer, by the way, with a Weavile with Cyrus. You could still win this. So close. What? So close. <gasps> you got Arceus Dialga Palka. Well, as a GX, that is yeah. a three point. So I'm on 34, you're on 21. But if you get the Dialga Palka Giratina, you know, and uh, Arceus. And the thing is, I've only got five packs left. You've still got like 10 to go, so. It's a good chance of it happening. So. Do you think you'll ever see that Starly again? I hope so. It's probably somewhere in my mess of a house. One point. Solid wishy-washy. One point. Yeah, that card is really awful. But yeah. I don't know, actually. I've seen people have been playing it on, on... Yeah, but you played it against me, what, three times? And you... Yeah. <laughs> Say what, zing. That's what I get for bad mouthing it. That's what I get. Ditto. Ditto. How you doing? I'm alive. I'm good. I'm losing, and I don't like it. That's a hollow. Steelix. You got a hollow Steelix. All right. One whole point. And okay. I'm very We're impressed. getting there. We're getting there. Uh, it was such a strong start as well. This table, by the way, I'm just gonna show you all very quickly. This. This is what we're dealing with. Thank you, though, Pokemon. This is like an actual Thank magical you. Christmas gift. Uh, thank you. Oh, I got one point here with a Kamoa Hollow. We do like our Kamoas. Um, the, ho the Hollows tend to go out to people on Patreon. It's actually how I end up using them, Hollows and, and, and GXs one of, and stuff. One of the lucky viewers could end up with one of our cards. You're welcome. With one of, hey, all right. All right. Lieutenant. It's, it's the boy. Lieutenant Search with a Magnemite. That's two points for you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm on my last pack now. Seven to go. It's I'm very envious. Well, can I help you open them? Hang on, there's something in here, though. Volcarona GX. All right, Volcarona GX. 
Nice! So that's a final three points for me. Okay, so where I am right now, you have 25 points. Mm -hmm. And I have 38 points. So you have uh, 13 points to go. Okay. If you get the Arceus Diablo Palki, that's 10 points right there. Oh, actually, okay, so Bakerman has asked uh, if you could think of a new region, what would you base it off of? Where would you like to go in the world of Pokemon? In the real world? Oh, you got a hollow. I did. You got a hollow, nice. Okay, so that's an extra point. That is, in fact, an extra point. Um, have you seen the. Uh... Uh, the artwork for the Australia one? Yeah, I think Australia would be very cool. Can I help you with your backs? No. Okay. Well, I think Australia would be you, a, you very, a very cool region. I know Mr. Buddy's done a bit. No, that's what I mean, to open them. I don't mean yeah. to have them. No, no, you can like open them and then give me the cards that are in them so that I can react to them. Okay, oh, sure, 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 sure. I'm sure. actually opening the pack because I have the pack. Sure, okay. Well, let's, yeah, uh, let's see what you uh, did. See, I think it's just my touch is very, very good. I think uh, it's just my skill. And it's your points. You keep the points, obviously. Yeah, but you opened it. Yeah, I did. It's Rosa as a full art. It's just, uh, you know what? It's just these, these, right. I'm going to steal your hands. So you're currently on uh, 30 points. So you're only going to go eight more points. You're only going to go eight more points to, 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 to do it, to catch up. How did you do? I didn't. You didn't. Okay. And in, and the editor can correct me if I'm right. I think I ended with 38 points and you ended with 30, um, which is a very good booster box or two. That's a cool rosa, isn't it? It is. It's very cool. What's your favorite card that you got today? I'm a huge fan of the trainer Pokemon cards. I do like them. I oh, do. I see that red one I got. At the yeah, do you know what? I was just thinking that one. It's such a cute little We've both got our red and Pikachu. I like this one a lot. I'm glad that we both got it so that I don't have to try and steal it off you now. Uh, I guess last question. Did you enjoy your time on Bird Keeper Toby on the channel? Will you be back in a future episode of Girlfriend vs. Boyfriend Booster Box Battle? It was awful. I loved it. Okay. It was <laughs> You know, maybe I'll, I'll replace you in someone else on oh 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 spicy wow. spicy Drama. in all seriousness thank you for now my lovely uh thank you pokemon for sending us booster boxes this has been a lovely little christmas gift i hope this has been a, a chill video for you do, do I, do I, yeah do I, do I, do I, so you just say the thing that i say <laughs> and now they're just like Yeah, it's so high, just so you know, because people get confused. And you just say that. <laughs> Put to the camera. Put to the camera. Put to the camera. So high, Pokemon Masters! No. Kai, it cuts there. You can do it next time. <laughs> That's right, guys. This is Ash Ketchum. You just watched a video by Bird Keeper Toby. That makes you a Pokemon Master! And a particular Pokemon Master thank you to all of my big patrons this month, including the Nerd Therapist. Thank you.